Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. I'm super excited because today's pick a card is a collaboration with someone we already know and love on this channel. Today's pick a card is a collaboration with Colleen over on the Spiritualistic channel. Um, I'm super excited for this. I'm excited for the topic and I'm just excited to be collaborating with someone whose videos I love, um, who's so in tune with spirit. I'm just super excited for this link up again this is our second one i have all of my collaborations in a playlist so if you want to check out our other collaboration um it will be in my collaboration playlist on my channel um but i'm excited because we're channeling some celestial energies today i'm going to be bringing through messages from lemuria and on the other part of the collaboration clean is going to be bringing through uh, messages from agatha so i'm really excited to see what comes through on both ends so if you are watching this one first um this will be part one of the reading and then i'll have the link over to the spiritualistic channel um in my description box so you guys can head over there for part two but yeah let's get in so i have three shells for you guys to choose from one of these shells was sent to um to me by one of my subscribers um who created this beautiful deck which i'll be using um and i'll link it in the uh description box if you want to if you want to purchase but i'm obsessed because i've never seen these shells before so i'm excited to use them today um but pile number one we have i'm guessing this is a limpid shell i've never seen these types of shells so if i name them wrong let me know in the comments down below um but this is pile number one it's like on my finger um this is pile number one pile number two is the shell and pile number three is this shell i have no idea the names but they're very beautiful in fact they're so beautiful when i first held them i cried um <laughs> But that's just me. Um, so see which shell you are drawn to. And the timestamps are going to be in the description box below. And I shall see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, Palawan, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what guidance and messages the energies of Lemuria have for you right now. So you guys chose the, I think it's the limpid shell. Um, I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. I have to say, when I tap into your particular pile, I keep being shown a clock, but it's like, the clock keeps spinning round and round and round. And then I'm being shown the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He's like, I'm late, I'm late um, for a very important date. But then I keep being shown time and then I keep hearing time doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. And then I just keep being shown like a rabbit running around with the watch. And I don't know what that's about yet, but that's what I'm being shown. Um, pile number one. Messages and guidance from Lemuria for my pile number ones. Messages and guidance from Lemuria. We have the Fool. I keep wanting to say as well, like, this is your life. This isn't, like, your parents' life, your friend's life. Uh, it's not social media's life. It's your life. Um, I keep wanting to kind of say that. This is all you. This is your life other people's projections of what they may want you to be or people saying you should have this by now or that by now or you should be doing this like it doesn't matter if it's not making you happy and isn't connecting to you this is your life i i feel like i want to say that uh we have the six of swords with my cutter on it um six of swords pile number one we have the knight of pentacles Pile number one. Messages from Lemuria for my pile number one. Three of wands. Okay. And the back of the deck, we have the hangman. All right. Let's go. Okay. So the fool, the six of swords, knight of pentacles, the three of wands, and the hanged 
man i feel like you guys would really connect with a quote that i posted on instagram the other day it's a quote by alan watts and he basically says that like a lot of the purpose of life is to just be um and a lot of people are rushing around trying to accomplish things that are beyond themselves when in actuality us just being here it's like the prize it's like what we're here to be doing just being ourselves and enjoying life in that way and i feel like for you guys specifically i feel like you guys may have gone through a lot in your earlier life um you may have gone through some trauma or had to grow up before you were supposed to and i feel like a lot of your uh maybe teens or early 20s or even early 30s i feel like we're spent rewiring maybe your brain uh resetting your nervous system healing from trauma healing from wounds um kind of teaching yourself uh to you know build again tearing a tower down and, and building again that in itself puts you on your own path with your own timing because you know that there would be people that might not have had to work through certain wounds or had to rewire their brain like that and they never had to worry about those things so they only had to worry about building this or building that whereas you guys in order for you to maybe build things you've had to really clear things or clear karma or cleanse things out of your system and reset you know your energies like that like you've being doing that whilst doing maybe what other people are doing because there's this feeling of like i'm not where this person is and i'm not where this person is or i should have this by now i should have this by now and i keep wanting to say you're on your own path you're on your own journey and i think sometimes you might not give yourself credit for how much you've done for yourself how much you've cleared how much you've worked through i feel like you guys pile number one i get a lot of air energy so you might have a lot of libra um aquarius or why did i forget the third air sign gemini um you may have a lot of air in your chart that's just something coming through but i also pick up like a perfectionistic vibe so some of you guys may have a lot of virgo in your chart as well could be capricorn and taurus but i'm being taken more to virgo so what i'm being told is that sometimes you guys are very perfect like you're perfectionists um there's this feeling of like i need to have this in order i need to have this in order and i haven't done this yet and i haven't done this yet and i keep almost wanting to spin you around and look at everything that you have done because yes this person may have this car or this person may have this home or this person may have started a family at this point but like they weren't clearing karma the way you were they weren't processing their shadow the way that you were they weren't you know clearing a ton of energy they weren't resetting the system their own you know nervous system like you were they weren't evolving or maybe they weren't you know maybe you've connected a spirit and gone on that journey first and and really been getting a lot of downloads to help aid build certain things they might not have been doing that and there's no wrong or right but that was their path and you have your own and i almost feel like for some of you guys you may feel the weight of like societals you should be in a relationship by now you should be uh having this by now you should be having that by now you are on your own journey i keep hearing i'm a wanderer by Janae Aiko. the song is spotless mind um and she sings i'm a wanderer and she kind of just kind of moves where she's kind of called to and evolves in that way you do not have to fit the mold that other people feel you need to and you do not have to fit a mold that society is telling you to fit you're living this life for you and you're moving with your own heart space and you are one of those people as well that divine timing is very at play in your life so say now you guys are focused on like a career or building something right now you are one of those people that are meant to move a little bit slower and take your time with it i would explain it like um you know when you have artists and they're constantly popping out content like they're constantly having a new song a new album there's something new there's something new and that may work for them but then there's other artists where they'll maybe pop one album out every five years what, what comes to mind is like scissor she dropped control and then it was still being talked about five years on like it was still this like masterpiece like it, it, you know everyone loved that and then she drops her second album five years later and everyone was anticipating it and it did just as well and you know people think that was a masterpiece too and it's like she took her time and every I, I find that every song that she tends to drop it's gold like people really like it people really connect to it and i really do feel like you're one of those people art can't be rushed the same way that nature can't be rushed and i feel like the message from the maria here is because i'm being shown the rabbit with the clock and it's like i'm late i'm late don't be 
the rabbit. And then I'm being taken to the same, y'all the tortoise, not the rabbit or the hare. Y'all the tortoise. But I'm almost being told, y'all Alice, like you're not the rabbit running around with this with, with this timer. That, that They're saying you are Alice. You are moving through life intuitively. You are um, moving on a path that is your own and learning from it. There is a plan that you are. Uh, following energetically and intuitively and you have your own way of doing things and just because it doesn't look like the people around you doesn't mean that it's wrong and it doesn't mean that you're behind in anything you have your own tailored way of doing it your own frequency and again it doesn't mean that yours is better than that person's and that person's is better than yours you're just on your own path and you're someone that I feel is here to stand out or just do things in your own way because I feel like you have that touch like you almost feel like you have that artistic touch or that intuitive touch where it's like um you're really felt so if you would whatever career you're in whatever it is that you do I feel like you're felt you really make a difference so you don't need to be here there and everywhere and constantly everywhere you don't need to be you know dropping things if you if you're in music you don't need to be the one dropping music constantly because you don't need to because maybe and let's just put it in the way of music a second i don't know if you guys listen to music a lot but i'm being told to do it that way you can have like 10 albums of songs that are like pop songs and they'll go number one but like they're forgotten about and you know yeah okay that they can be successful but they don't have longevity whereas like you could be making an album that has literally just 10 tracks but those 10 tracks they're connected to life experiences. So you've poured your heart out into those tracks. So when you drop those 10 tracks, they are layered with emotion, with feeling, with intellect, with so much creativity that they're felt and they have longevity and they're, you know, people hold them dear to them. And it's, it's a song that a lot of people will go back to. You have that spark in whatever it is that you do. Um, Cause it could even be with friends. Like you could feel like, a lot of people have a bunch of friends and you may have like one or two but the thing is about your friends is they stick they have longevity it's 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 a deeper thing you're one of those people it could be you you're seeing people jump from relationship to relationship and it's like well, why don't i do that your relationships are meant to be more deeper more meaningful there's, there's a deeper meaning to it um and again you may feel like this person's got all of this set for them financially but i've been you know, I've been working through all of this, but you've just been learning deep life lessons. You've just been clearing so much. Like you've just been doing something with so much depth that it it's insane. Like I'm seeing you guys doing so much and then looking at people that, yeah, okay, they might have like accomplished something physically, but it that there's no depth. They might not have learned anything. They might have even had it handed to them. You know what I mean? Or they didn't have that same you were up against something completely different so I, I just see you guys like comparing your what you do or where you're at in life with people that might have had that area a lot easier and you're being called not to do that this is your life and you set your own times and you move through life on your own don't worry about what anyone else is doing this is your life and I feel like as well you're one of those people with the hanged man at the back of the deck you get intuitive nudges where to go you know when it's time to fall back you know when it's time to jump up you know when it's time to push yourself and work you know when it's time to fall back you know when it's time to go in and do some healing you know when it's time to pop out like you're someone that whether you realize it or not consciously i feel like your soul almost like waits for downloads like in the sense of like a gps like you're waiting for the directions of where to go and then you move that way you're meant to move through your own feelings and intuition in this lifetime um don't let these doubts of where other people may be stop you from um living in this moment and enjoying where you're at because i feel like you've already done so much that you should be proud of don't compare yourself to where other people are at uh and i i really want to say as well whatever it is whether it's a career you're building or it's just a life that you're creating um because i almost feel like you're creating something that's very different to where you came from i'm being told you're here for longevity and you're here to build so you're here to you know like taurus energy we plant seeds we wait for them to bloom we plant more seeds and we move like that and we tend to it that's your energy and whatever it is that you may be feeling insecure about or just feeling like you're behind that's your energy that's how you're connecting to everything I feel relationships friendships your life in general building a home all of that you may be taking what feels like a slower path but it's like you're making sure you're learning deep lessons and you're making sure that everything's where it needs to be so that you don't have to keep tearing down towers building new ones tearing down towers building new ones you were just slowly building this big castle 
um and it's on your own timing this is all on your own timing is the message that's what i'm getting here with the knight of pentacles going into the three of wands and you're being called to really ask like what do i want out of life what do i truly want um without uh maybe other people's influence or social media's influence or what i think everybody around me is wanting like what do i truly want because i feel like you're just you may come from a small town where everyone's doing the same thing and you may feel like you stick out um or you could just see a lot of people around you maybe wanting to do the same thing and you're kind of breaking away from that mold so there's this feeling of like should i fit in or should i stay small or should i do what everyone else is doing but i feel like your heart space or your intuition's calling you elsewhere and then i see that little bit of friction because it's like but i don't have this yet and i don't have that yet you're on your own journey um and it's a beautiful one i just heard spirit say pile number one pile number one what messages does the maria have for my pile ones we have yes, just say yes. Back of the deck, we have protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Um, let me just get the other card that I'm putting on this side and then I'll channel these two cards for you guys. Pile number one, messages from the Maria for my pile number ones. We have breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanage in the universe. And the back of the deck on this card, on these cards, we have all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your grays within. I feel like you guys are someone, um, you're like leaders, you're innovators, you're here to blaze paths, you're here to make change, you're here to create, you're here to build, you're here to um, inspire people. I feel like that's what you're here to do. But to do that, you have to kind of like, step out from the crowd and do something different because while a lot of people may follow trends there's always somebody set in a trend and i feel like you're one of those people that sets trends i feel like you're someone that creates the art for people to like work through i just feel like you're one of those people you definitely feel like a leader it's just stepping into that role and understanding that 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 is part of you and that you are here to walk a little bit of a different path um because there is this feeling of like I don't know if you have like North Node in Leo, South Node in Aquarius, or you may have like a lot of, um, I just see a lot of like Leo and Aquarius, but like opposition. So you may have that. Um, you may have what I have, Leo Sun, Aquarius Moon, or you could have Aquarius Sun, Leo Moon, but I feel like it's more taken to the nodes. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but yeah, there's this feeling of like, I, it's like, I, I, I want I know I'm here to stand out and I feel intuitively called to stand out and do things differently, but there's something nagging me to like step into this crowd and, and stay in this crowd or like not shine out because of what people may think or I'm doing something different and then it's like, should I be doing this when everyone's doing this? You're here to blaze your own path. You're here to stand out and be your own cheerleader as well. Um, you really are here to do that. Why do we have just say yes? Under the fool as well you're someone as well in this lifetime you're going to take a lot of leaps in the dark and i'm hearing the quote that someone said some people can do in a year what other people have wanted to do in 10 years i've been trying to do in 10 years i feel like you're one of those people i feel like when you ignite something and you take that leap in the dark i feel like everything kind of manifests around it just because you're very good at like activating stepping into timelines aligning with timelines you're somebody that's very good with that um so that's why i'm getting this say yes card because i almost feel like there may even be a shift coming Coming up or a chance to take a leap coming up that you may be feeling a little bit like oh I don't know I don't know you're being called to take that leap and it could mean popping out like um you may have been making some music or art. I don't know why I keep being taken to music with this pile um it could be like making music or art or wanting to start like a certain social media platform to get things out there put, put in a book out or something like that there's something it could even be like something in your home life where you may have the opportunity to travel soon or have the opportunity to move soon um move homes you know move across the country sort of thing so that's another thing coming through i feel like there's a switch or like a shake up that is going to be happening soon um or just a chance for you to activate and really stand in your power and that's why we've got the just say yes card because i feel like it's a it's a 
calling that that's kind of coming through the reason i'm saying calling is because at the top of the pyramid we have these light beams coming through and um that's what really activates that energy into our crown and i'm hearing activation vibration song answer the call and she sings your soul has spoken answer the call i think that's the lyrics love has awoken it's here for us all i think those are the lyrics um really good song you should check it out we love heather on this channel i think she's great but uh yeah i'm hearing that song and then breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe you're just i'm hearing fear not by tanache as well and she literally sings um trying to live my life looking for a cause, tracing my ambition, giving it my all. How are you supposed to live your own feet off the ground when the whole damn world is trying to bring you down? Um, and it's a song of her like stepping into her power. It's called Fear Not by Tanache. It's not on Apple Music or Spotify. It's only on YouTube because it was a mixtape. But I'm hearing that when I look at this card because I just feel like the plan you're following, it isn't in concrete. The plan you're following is your intuition um it's your akashic records it's it's that's why you're moving i feel like you are someone that walks with faith and not by sight and um that may look sometimes like well this person has this and this person has that but like intuitively like you have a lot and you know you're here to build a lot too and i'm being told to say you've done a lot <laughs> um 100 so trust the process is, is a strong message here you're on your own time Pile number one. Messages from Lemuria from my pile number ones. Oh goodness, let me grab. Let me grab your card. We have Stasia. I'm not shocked that card's come through. Because I feel like the reason I'm not shocked that card's come through is because i feel like especially with her eye up here and she, she's looking at this like human being walking up to the stars i just feel like you're one of those people that dreams big like you're one of those people that like thinks outside of the box dreams outside of the box reaches for the stars literally like this guy is reaching for the star here you are one of those people and a lot of the people that have moved weights in this lifetime or led a life like that in this lifetime they've had to just follow their intuition and go with it even when they've created something that hasn't been created before there's going to be a lot of pushback when people do that but they're here to blaze paths and create from their own ideas and and trust in themselves and have that kind of blind faith in themselves and like i always say walk with faith not by sight that's what they do to bring these things off the ground you know what i mean all these things that we have the phones that we're talking on the even homes that were living in, they were, once, they were once an idea that was created. And if somebody didn't make that jump and put that out, it wouldn't be here. And I feel like you're one of those people to make changes like that. Um, but I think there may still be a little bit of a struggle of, but other people are like this and other people are like this and you're on your own path. Um, the back of the deck, we have the Lumen Essence. So everything you do as well, I feel like it's going to be connected by the heart because everything that you do is meaningful. Somebody could buy like a bunch of things with a bunch of money, but money might not mean anything to them. And it might not even bring them happiness, but they could just be filling a void. Whereas with you guys, everything that you do is meaningful. I feel like you're one of those people. Like you have a home, you have things in that home that are meaningful. You make steps towards your career. The reason you're in that career is because it's meaningful to you. It inspires you. Whereas you know, other people, they might not do that. And I feel like the reason that you're in this position to create and build is because everything that you're touching is created with meaning. And when something is created with meaning, that's an activation that can't be mimicked or copied. You're putting that into your creative process or just into your life in general. It happens with meaning then, you know what I mean? Um, and you following that authentic path, even if it's just your life and just the way that you choose to live your life, you choosing to do that with meaning is going to bring fulfillment and emotional fulfillment to you. You know what I mean? Whereas some people they may even have this energy to create but they may suppress it and then they might not have that emotional happiness you know what i mean you see a lot of people chasing a lot of highs um trying to find that emotional feeling whereas i feel like everything you do is coming in with meaning so that you find that happiness in this life um and that's another thing that's being referenced here 
So pile number one, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I will have the link to Clean's channel in my description box so you can take a look at what messages Agatha has for you. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are bringing through messages and guidance from Lemuria. So you guys chose this shell up here. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number two, pile number two, please, spirit guides, tap me in to the collective of my pile number twos. One thing I want to say is you guys have superb psychic abilities superb intuition um clairvoyancy is coming through really strong i think that you guys sometimes underestimate your psychic abilities too and i'm being told to reference how in tune you are uh because you are very in tune and i feel like you've also had multiple lifetimes where you have used your gifts or when we think of psychic gifts sometimes we might have to flex that muscle to get it to flow the right way uh you've been flexing that muscle every time you've incarnated it feels if you believe in incarnation that is um i just really see that i feel like you guys are quite in tune with your past lives as well uh i think that you've been someone in you know especially when we look at like lemurian energy and agatha energy and atlantean energy and avalonian energy and all of the other beautiful energies um when we tap into that especially back in those days we were super connected to spirit like if you've ever channeled that and i feel a lot of you might have we were super connected to spirit and i feel like you were someone even in like ancient egypt ancient china like i'm even being shown like times where you are in tribes bringing through messages i feel like you've always been someone that's carried wisdom through carried message through um you almost feel like a little bit like an elder even tapping into you uh i keep wanting to say like you have that you are super psychic please don't doubt this like i keep wanting to reference to you that you have these abilities very strong encoded within you and your soul remembers them um but what i do want to say is the way you connect to them is going to be tailored to you too. When we have these abilities, it's not something that someone else can tell us how to access. We have that knowing inside. And I feel like maybe there has been friction sometimes with you guys where you've maybe tried to access a different gift or access certain tools that don't really agree with you. Or it's almost like you've, I see someone like someone saying to someone this is how you connect to this and you're like that's not how I connect to this because you have a different way of doing it so I'm being called for you to really trust what your soul has to say and what your soul remembers because I feel like a little bit similar to pile number one you are here to be heard or felt or bring forth gifts that you've activated in other lifetimes but there's this feeling of but this isn't how other people teach it or this isn't how other people talk about it or this isn't how other people use it so i feel like i'm gonna be um you know i'm gonna be looked over i'm gonna be told this is wrong but i see you guys remembering something and having something really vital to bring through or having a way of doing something and you're being called to stand in that and really trust that uh whatever that is we'll get into it but that's just something coming through i think that you guys have had a lot of incarnations you feel like really really old souls not just on earth other places too but i just feel like you almost feel like you've brought a lot of knowledge to earth using your gifts before you're here to continue to do that it's it's a strong message i'm also being told you guys are really good at lucid dreaming um or you may have very you're in the astrals a lot like this do you know what i mean you're always around it feels you may get a lot of people say to you you were in my dream you were in my dream you were in my dream and you're like what's going on because you just yeah i feel like you lucid dream a lot you're about a lot it feels <laughs> energetically that's just something coming through pile number two pile number two messages from lemuria for my pile number twos messages from lemuria for my pile number twos we have the nine of wands pile number twos 
Yeah, there's such strong ties to the occult. We have the Six of Swords. Pile number two, messages from Lemuria. We have the King of Wands. Am I putting that upright, upside down? Upright, okay. Pile number... Oh, your other card just dropped out onto my knee. We have the Page of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords at the back of the deck as well. Interesting. You may be from the pile, if you watched my past life reading, you may be from that pile I was talking about where they were very connected to spirit, but they, there was always a, like a little bit of a worry of like where that information was going to go or I, I was being shown past lives where souls were very connected to the occult, very gifted spiritually, but then when they would teach other people, those people would use it for the bad um, because I keep being taken to the occult and like that hidden knowledge and keeping things to myself and um understanding something because understanding something and not needing to like share it out too much because it's private knowledge it's like occult knowledge i don't need everyone to know this um i almost feel like there's, there's an air of that and i feel like you guys may even feel as well because you know what it is you know what i'm saying to you guys you guys are super psychic you know that you're super psychic but i think that there's a part of you that feels like you want to hide the abilities you have to a degree or maybe keep them small because it's like I kind of don't not that you don't want to step into your power you don't want other people to see that there's this feeling of like I want to keep this hidden because it means a lot to me and I want to stay kind of behind the curtain you know like the guy from wizard of oz and he stays behind the curtain there's a feeling of that it's like i want to stay behind the curtain like I, you may have this thing like i want to get out knowledge but i don't want to be seen uh i don't want to be i don't want to be seen but i i want my work out there and there's uh there may be like a little bit of a friction i'm being told because with the six of swords coming through and then the eight of swords here i feel like it's something connected to your past lives um but you're being called to really stand in your power here because there's a lot that you have to offer. I also, there's a strong reference as well of not getting too caught up in, not clouding your mind in other, it's not necessarily other people's opinions. I just feel like you're someone I'm not saying don't read books and don't learn from other people because we can always learn from other people's perspectives, but take everything lightly when you learn and see how it applies to your energy first and maybe align with it in the way that it suits you. Because I feel like you've had so many lifetimes where you've connect to, connected to your know, different abilities, different tools in connecting with spirit. Maybe you've connected to different religions and I feel like it's all coded within you that you are able to kind of melted in a pot sort of thing and and bring your knowledge through there like you really truly understand that the oneness and the understanding that we are all connecting to the same sort of higher power uh and i feel like you're here to forge your own path and create your own wave and bring your own information through through your own experiences through what your soul remembers from the past and I, I just feel like because you could be someone that like is really into astrology but then you could also understand tarot but then you could also be someone that like does um numerology like your hands in a lot of pots because you know a lot of knowledge and maybe you feel like you have to put yourself in a box um to fit like a particular box and you're being told not to do that you have wisdom from all of it and it can all coexist there's a feeling of that um or it could be that there's something you're trying to mix together so you could be trying to mix spirituality with counseling or therapy you could be trying to mix uh spirituality with science because it, it's all spirituality and something spirituality and fitness spirituality and health like I, I just see you guys spirituality and art you know and there's there's worlds merging and there's this feeling of like i can't do this because this person said you can only do this and this or no one's mixing this together at all like i very rarely see people mix this together but you're here to do that because you have such deep knowledge um it feels like occult knowledge but then it's also like 
I think that you guys are super intelligent as well and there's something else that you're really good at you're here to like mix that together you could be someone that like um loves material things not in the sense like you're attached but you just love you know like let's just say building homes and like architect and things like that and then it's like you also really connect to the spirit so you connect to like the feng shui of things and you play you know you build homes in a certain way that um energy wise the energy moves and you intuitively build in that way or you intuitively design rooms and homes in that way like there's something about that or you know you could be super into uh makeup and things like that and it's like how do i blend that together you can do both like you can do both the whole thing as well about ancient and past energies that we have within us we incarnate on mother gaia so that we can evolve and grow we can't evolve and grow if we're ostracizing our parts of ourselves we can take something and something else and mix it together to build something else that way we're growing we're building colors together we wouldn't have rainbows if all the colors just stayed red blue green we just have random colors in the sky they blend together to make that rainbow to become one so there's something about you guys wanting to blend two things together that i think might work really well for you whether it's just in your everyday life or through career and you're being called to really really do that um and not listen to like this is how it's supposed to be done or this is how it's supposed to be done and that's it i feel like you're blazing your own path there um but there's a fear of like i'm scared of what people will say this is going to be super different this is going to be i i don't know if people are going to be interested in this i don't know if people are going to take be you know take to this anytime there's something new out there has to be a level of risk involved um but how do we know if it's going to pay off if we don't take that risk uh because it's like even when you look like instagram was really big for like a really long time and at the right moment tiktok just surged up you know what i mean it just surged and it's in itself created its whole um it's created its new social media influences it's created it's changed music it's changed everything and there's no one way that you can use tiktok like i feel like it's affected so many different markets and stuff just because of that one app like i feel like people have changed content you even have youtube doing shots now instagram doing reels now because of tiktok you know what i mean and it didn't just stay to one thing like instagram just stays to that one thing which is like pictures and youtube with the videos and it's like it had everything and look how much it's changed and look at the impact of that so you're being called to whatever it is that you wanted to blend with or whatever it is you wanted to push through if it, even if it's something that people might you feel like people might not um take to you're being called to make that leap and make that jump um and do that because I feel like one you're super connected to your Akashic records and your intuition anyway but I also feel like you're, you're here to to bring the old and mix it with the new you're here to bring the old you know your energies and guidance from the past and all that celestial energy that you bring through you're meant to bring all of that through and blend it with the now where humanity is at right now and I feel like you're very innovative like that, super innovative like that, that you're able to do that. It's really interesting. Um, but because I feel like you've got all these ideas and it's like, oh, I don't know if I could do this or that's reaching or that's that. And it's like with the page of cups, it's like, no, pop it out, get it out, get it out because it's new and it's fresh. Do it, do it because you're super authentic as well. It's not like you're doing something and just throwing anything at the wall like your heart's in it you're super authentic you're doing it because it aligns with you and your soul remembers and I, I just feel like there's something you're meant to get out or mix that you're being called to really do pile number two messages from the Maria for my pile number twos messages from the Maria for my pile number twos because the thing is if something like i'm being shown like a river like when a river doesn't have that flow the water stays the same and like they say you can't step in the same river twice the water co constantly changes and shifts we're constantly evolving and when we tap into energies like lemuria and atlantis and avalon avalon and agatha we're not tapping into them to just go back there even though sometimes we want to we're here to remember and hone in on that energy and mix it with the now that's how you evolve you know and, and that's that's the message that they're wanting to reference pile number two messages from the maria 
we have mirror who or what is triggering you i think as well really reflecting on what your fears may be is another message here to really write down why you're fearing taking a leap what you're afraid of and really acknowledging that and allowing yourselves to feel that because taking leaps in the dark we're bound to feel a little bit triggered it's a scary thing to do when we can't see why we're taking that leap or we're doing something new and you know and we're out there like on that stage and everyone's looking at us and we're just doing something new it's we're gonna be a little bit oh you know what i mean we're gonna be a little bit scared but i just feel like your intuition is calling you and you're being called to like listen to those emotions and triggers but allow them to pass really understand where they're coming from we have the council of light at the back of the deck divine orchestration help us in the subtle realms so whatever it is that you're wanting to get off the ground i feel like spirit and your spirit guides are really in close guiding you and they're referencing for you to call out to them um to help you build whatever this is whether it's just a life lifestyle or um really tapping into your truth in regards to how you connect to spirit whatever way that is uh or again blending two worlds together i feel like you're being called to you're being called to ask for help where you feel you need it whether it's like releasing triggers and finding the next step forward but i do feel like spirits around you quite heavy with it because i almost feel like it's a part of your mission to do this it feels so that's something coming up with these cards uh pile number two messages from lemuria from my pile number twos messages from lemuria from my pile number twos we have the seas of mintaka seeing potential bringing unconscious to light see there's something that like hasn't been done that's either in your mind or it's going to be ideas that are going to start floating and coming into your physical world you're here to bring them into physical manifestation. You're here to bring something back. Bring the essence of something back and mix it with the new. You're here to do that, you know? Um, that's what you're here to do because it, there's, a, there's a meaning for it because I feel like, again, it's the waves of the sea here. We have the seas of Mintaka. It's the waves of those seas. I feel like you're about to make a ripple. You're about to make a... Um, you know a splash if that makes sense like you know when you when you know like you're in the bath or like you're in a pool and you just make like a tiny little ripple and then the wave just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it hits the other side there's something that you're doing and it may start off small but like waves like they start off small and they get bigger and bigger and bigger so there's something that you're building up to there's an idea kind of festering that you're bringing into the physical it's why we have seeing potential bringing unconscious to light um and it's something you're it's it's even building within you so it's planting within you and growing and ideas are coming through i'm being told uh we also have earthed learning how to be human in the world but not of it see i feel like you <laughs> it's like when you incarnate you ground yourself enough to like understand the currents of earth and what huma where humanity is at in the karma and all of that but you keep yourself connected to the other realms enough that you're able to see it from an outside point of view to bring a different perspective in and that's where that innovation comes from so it's like i'm tapping into the consciousness of where we're currently at we're in the present but i'm keeping hold of my akashic record so i can um and my connection to spirit so that i can look at it and see it advance you know what i mean and, and bring that information through and that's why we have that here earthed learning how to be human in the world but not all of it it's interesting pile number because they say that a lot of the technology that we have now and a lot of the buildings that were created in like ancient times um that wisdom was brought through from beings elsewhere um souls from other dimensions and i feel like you were one of those people that would channel information through uh, i've had a lot of uh messages come through when i've done pick a cards connecting to celestial energies where i've seen people uh wh whether they've built any of the pyramids anywhere around the world or any buildings that are ancient around the world or uh kind of statues and things 
they were literally getting knowledge on how to do it. It was like they were downloading that information and creating that kind of like uh, texture. And especially when you think of like ancient Egyptians, they were so connected to spirit. Like they literally were constantly downloading. That's why they had that those caps over their head, those... Um, they weren't literal caps you know what i mean um they had that protection over their head spaces because they were constantly getting downloads and constantly connected to these other realms they were so in tune uh, and i see that a lot when i tap in uh and i just feel like you're here to do that and create something new because if you think of like i was saying about all these ancient uh you know structures and and all of that they again they say that like beings from other realms helped create advancements that we have on earth you don't have to believe that but i've i've i think i heard that from dolores cannon and i just feel like who better than to have an understanding of how to work with what we already have better than beings from other realms they're going to see it completely differently and i feel like you tap into a realm like that where you can see what's here and elevate it you know what i mean and tap into it differently and bring your own wisdom with that and i feel like that's what you're here to do hope that makes sense pile number two messages from lemuria for my pile number twos messages from lemuria for my pile number twos oh you have two cards the back of the deck you have freedom that's what you have at the back of the deck because it's like when we create and we take what we already have and we evolve that can liberate us and have us advance which is freedom in itself uh, it stops us going around in that karmic cycle. So I feel like you have guidance for that. Um, on how to evolve past certain certain energies that humanity 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 wise we may be stuck in. Uh, I think you're here to plant seeds like that. To be fair, we also have Earth Star Chakra, and it says initiation. So there's that. I'll get into that in a second. Let me just get the other card down. You have third and feathered friends. Interesting. You could be someone as well that can speak with animals, that connect with animals energetically and, and bring messages through. Uh, you may have that ability. Again, that may be another thing that you're blending the connection to animals and, um, you know, having that deep connection there, which we used to a lot deeper back, back, back in the day. Um, before we started to disconnect ourselves from Mother Gaia a little bit, we had m a much deeper connection. And I feel like that may tie into wisdom and messages that you're bringing through. Because what I see as well is a lot of futuristic advan ad advancing in the sense of like advancement. I can't speak. Um, in the sense of technology. And we're going to see a lot of it. We're in the age of Aquarius. We're going to see a lot of it. However... We keep evolving with forgetting our roots. We're going nowhere fast. A tree can't keep growing if it's not connected to its roots properly. We need to be grounded and rooted in. And there's so much wisdom with Mother Gaia. There's so much advancement there with Mother Gaia. She has the ability to help us all heal and, and bring messages through. But we're cut off to her. So we're not using the physical body in the way that we could. And I feel like some of you guys may have messages about that. You know what I mean? Because people may think, oh, that's going backwards going back into nature that's not going backwards it's reconnecting with where we start from and that's got a lot of wisdom too so that's something that's coming through here and then the earth star chakra initiation i feel like you're here to bring you know with, with these little markings here um i think you're here to bring a lot of downloads through and a lot of messages through in whatever way that is blend in two worlds get in two worlds to collide i feel like you're here to do that um yeah so trust where you're being taken trust where you're being called to blend two colors together trust you know the gifts that are coming through even if you've never even heard of this gift before but it's coming through uh, i see i remember in an akashic record reading i did and there was a pile that understood what was in a book before reading it and i was like i don't even know what to call that because i don't even know a name for it but it came through so strong uh it was like they were seeing images and you know pictures and and understanding themes in the book and they hadn't even read it and 
to my surprise I thought that sounded a bit woo woo and then I read the comments of people like yeah I can do that but I never knew what it was and I'm like I don't know what it is but I know you can do it and I feel like there's there's gifts that you guys have like that that just haven't been explained yet but you have them uh which is really really interesting and you're here to progress like that which is really interesting and really beautiful but pay attention to some triggers that may come up with things that you wanted to mix together uh and allow yourself to maybe journal them speak them out loud and really listen to them because i feel like they may have some answers for you and purging them will help you align with that energy a lot better so yeah pal two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are bringing through messages and guidance from Lemuria. So you guys chose this shell. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number three, please, spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number threes. Tap me into the collective of my pile number threes, please. What? messages does Lemuria have for my pile number threes what guidance and messages we have the page of pentacles what guidance and messages do my pile number threes need to hear from Lemuria right now tap me into the collective of my pile number threes the messages from Lemuria five of pentacles messages from the Maria pile number three i don't know why i'm being taken to 2019 like i keep being taken to that year i don't know if that's got significance um but i keep being taken there and i keep hearing if I, if I, once you don't succeed try again um so i don't know if you tried starting something in 2019 or you might have tried to get something in order in 2019 and then it didn't work out or you may feel like themes from 2019 are coming up right now it's very bizarre but i, I keep being taken to to 29 did you start something in 2019 did you start going through an awakening in 2019 did you end a relationship did you make a significant change in 2019 because there's almost this feeling of like being brought there but with wisdom and now it's like right now go not that you were ever wrong before you were learning something first it, let me get into it I'll, I'll let me just put these cards down we have the knight of cups with a hierophant as well uh back of the deck we have the world have you noticed like you've even been thinking about 2019 or like it doesn't have to be 2019 but i feel like that's what's coming through it could just be a time period in your life uh, the reason i'm saying it is because i was hearing the song 1999 by charlie xcx and Troy Sivan. i think that's how you say his name and i know that came out in 2019 if i'm not mistaken so i i kind of was taken to that era um could even be 1999 you're being taken back to but i i keep ref being referenced a time period where you would have like set out to like work somewhere set out to move somewhere set you know gone through an awakening gone and started doing shadow work and it, it's almost like since that point and it could have even been a year ago but since that point so much has shifted it almost feels like you were taken off your feet and up into the air you're being planted firmly back down in that energy so you may feel like you never left 2019 in regards to like physically you may feel like you're reviewing things from that time period or whatever this time period was it doesn't again it doesn't have to just be 2019 it's like you're being brought back to that moment where it almost feels like time stopped because it's almost like you learned a lot you know when you've shown movies and for example i'll think of an example what can i give wizards of waverly place the movie right alex makes this wish with a wand that her parents never met and when she does that that the whole movie begins and her parents never met so she doesn't have parents and then her siblings because they were never born they start disappearing and towards the end her siblings have disappeared her parents don't remember each other and she's like learned so much in that time period 
she, the whole movie goes on and she, she grows and she evolves and she learns things she understands things but towards the end of the movie she's able to go back to that moment when she made that wish and when she's back in that moment even though for everybody else they only saw her a couple of seconds ago she's grown she's changed she's somebody else at this point and she has a newfound love and respect for her family she wants to spend time with them whereas before she didn't even want to be on the holiday the reason i'm referencing that is because i almost feel like there's a switch or a shift that you made and you may feel like you went off track but you didn't you learned something understood something you may have gone through an awakening you may have gone through an ego death you may have gone through a breakup you may have made a very big shift you're being planted back in the same energy because remember time doesn't exist so you're being plant planted back in that same energy now with that wisdom so you can grow and evolve from there so you may feel like you made like a lot of manifestations um and they just weren't coming to fruition and instead you were releasing karma purging karma life got really upside down that was clearing for these manifestations to come in so now you're being put on that timeline where these manifestations can come in you had to be taken off course first so that you could clear out what was stopping you from bringing this in maybe you wanted to bring in love and the minute you started manifesting and aligning with that you went through a ton of purging you went in a relationship where you got triggered by someone to purge out feelings of abandonment fears of wounds then you've cleared that now you're back you know and your heart space is cleared now you're being placed back in our timeline okay we've cleared that okay go love's coming in open up to it now or it could be i'm ready for my uh i want to shift careers and i want to evolve in regards to my careers all of a sudden money might have gone a bit sharp for you and you had to learn this and you had to learn that and you had to think on your feet but you learned it you evolved and now it's like boom you're back where you began back where you started but you may be physically back where you started, but energetically you're not. Because now you have all of that wisdom and now you can grow and now there's nothing stopping you because what happens, what was stopping you from creating what you wanted to happen, it's cleared, it's gone. Because I almost feel like you've aced a chapter or cleansed a chapter or cleansed something out that was stopping you from aligning with something. So think about a time period where you, like, I feel like you're remin either reminiscing on a time period or weird things are aligning that remind you of that time period. Because it's almost like a door window opened. You went through a karmic cycle for however long and now you're coming back through. And you're like, oh, everything kind of feels the same. So you may be doing your routine the same way from a particular time period. It could be 2017, it could be 2020, you know, it, it could be whenever. I don't know why there's a highlight on 2019 though. Um, it could be, uh, I'm trying to think, it could be that you were, um, you were choosing to move across country and then maybe like it didn't work out or you went somewhere completely different and now it's like you're moving again and it's like that nostalgic feeling because you're placed back on that timeline now you've come back to that timeline to the original idea and now it's like right game on now you're moving forward it was almost like something needed to be purged first something needed to be cleansed first you needed to learn something first you needed to understand something first for this manifestation to come in so what looked like uh what looked like it was something that was throwing you off track it was actually a blessing in disguise because now you're back where you were with more wisdom and now you're able to build that because a page of pentacles is like i'm planting a seed but then the five of pentacles is here so it's like i feel like i'm at a loss i feel like i'm not getting what i want it's almost like it's in my face and i can't get it but we have this hierophant card here going into this knight of cups so it's almost like you were learning you were understanding you would be entailed to something different so all of that had to purge first so you have to be in that five of pentacles to let those wounds come out because if you are openly wanting something new but your inner world is the five of pentacles you have to clear that first you have to clear those wounds to get them and i feel like that's what you've been doing because i feel like you guys are on a very big fresh perspective and it's not shocking me as well that you guys have this shell which is literally spiraling around because time literally does not exist and i feel like you're maybe even moving through life more in an energetic way now or understanding divine timing uh i feel like especially with the spiral when we think of the healing symbol it literally spirals until it's all the way out you've been clearing to make sure that you can have what you want and it could be more than one thing it could be quite a few things that you've been tailoring with tailoring to and aligning with um 
and it, you may have had that detour but it wasn't necessarily a detour you were learning it's almost like spirit turned off time placed you somewhere else while you were learning something and now it's popping you back on that timeline but energetically it could very well feel like it's been years and it could be years but energetically you may even feel like yeah i feel like you look whatever this time period is it could be years ago you feel like time like stopped you feel like that doesn't feel like three years ago that literally feels like yesterday i don't know why i feel like that's quite funny i'm like thinking back to so let's just use the 2019 things that's what was coming through it's almost like i feel like that was yesterday because energetically for you it is because i almost feel like you were almost like in an incubator of cleansing and purging and not much happened physically for you while that was happening i feel um or maybe a lot happened but it didn't feel like your feet were on the ground it felt like you were in another universe and now your feet are on the ground and it's like, oh. So that whatever time period this is, it feels like it was yesterday. And I see a lot of themes being the same for you guys, which is quite interesting. You may have the same type of people trying to pop back up. Or people that like energetically remind you of people that were around at that time period, but elevated. It's quite, it's quite interesting. That it's like the literal example of shifting a timeline, like hop in a timeline. I feel like that's what you've been doing. It's really interesting. Really, really interesting, actually. But let's pull some more cards. Because now you're walking forward with this Knight of Cups with that wisdom behind you. It's like, right, now I know what to do. And now I'm not being held back by any of these energies that were there before. I've cut all the weeds. I'm in a completely different garden now. Pile number... Yeah, it feels like this time period, whatever it is you're thinking back to, it feels like it was yesterday, but as far as the person you were then, you're a completely different person now. Completely. You'd move differently. You'd do things differently. You were a different person because of that time period away of clearing. But energetically, you've literally just been put back where you were after you went through that, boom, clearing. Pile number and you may have sharper tools better tools now do you know what i mean you could have been working in regards to like finances and understanding how to make money so now you have a really good grip on money or it could be that in that time period you were learning how to understand your own darkness so that other people couldn't uh use certain things against you um or kind of pull a wool over your eyes because you might have only been seeing the light before so now you have that and that's a new tool that you have or it could be that in that time period where you went away you were focusing on work and career and building that up so now popping back on that timeline it's like now i have my career back behind me to, to build and keep going so there's there's tools that you have sharp tools whereas before they might have been just like a couple of sticks whereas now it's like you've got these tools um when you're being placed back on that timeline whatever it is whatever you were doing in that time period um from whatever time this is and i feel like you'll know what i'm on about there's a there's a vibe to it there's a feel into it there's something you began or a time where you started putting things in motion and you felt like things were going in the right direction because it was like i'm layering and i'm building and then all of a sudden you felt knocked off you were literally taken off to that was part of the process to be popped back on because i feel you like back on the, those stairs but you have these tools now and you're like oh I'm going up again oh my god this i remember this time period i remember this and it's like time doesn't exist that's why you, you're remembering that pile number pile number three please for guides messages from lemuria oh we have two cards we have star seed what lights you up and you have priestess how are you being called to step up and lead okay on the back of the deck you have the <laughs> you have the crumbling what are you clinging on to see i feel like you are aligning with the timeline but you were holding on to past energies uh whether you knew you were doing it or just subconsciously so the universe heard you loud and clear and was like yeah no you can align with this timeline behind this tower this beautiful flowers of course you can but we're gonna have to get rid of this castle first um because it's filled with old ideas and old timelines and old connections with people that you may still be linked to and old um 
old wirings of the brain and you don't need them and old pains and we're gonna have to purge that out first so i'm gonna really put you on time out to purge that out um and then when you pop back on this timeline you can have that then but we're gonna have to get rid of this first because that's how energy works and that's what happened for you guys i feel what lights you up see i feel like the way you're moving now as well with those tools that you have it's like you've got to clear a clearer vision to know what you want maybe before because i feel like you're revisiting ideas that you had things that you were aligning with but like with a more clearer vision so it's like i want I want it this way though, I want it that way. Whereas before you may have been looking at it with fears or projections or maybe what your ego wanted but your soul didn't really want. Now you're looking at it clearer and that's really aided. And then we have how you're being called to step up and lead. If it's a career that you were stepping towards or something like that, I feel like you're in your own power now. Anything that was stopping you from standing in your own power is being purged that's what that whole process was so i feel like you're in your own power you have more power than you have had and not that you didn't have power before you always had it you just didn't realize it or there was a lot of stone and mud and an unclear vision around it to stop you from really seeing your own power whereas now you do see it um so now you can align with something different on this timeline because you're not being anchored into a different one you were really pulling those anchors up which is really really interesting uh because you're not who you were. Pile number three. Messages from Lemuria from my pile number threes. We have breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will micromanaging the universe. Yeah, I feel like similar to pile number one, I feel like you guys work with energy. You move in energy. And I feel like you may even feel right now like because i feel like some of you guys have actually gone on a spiritual journey bit of an ego death i feel like you're starting to look at life like energy time doesn't exist and i'm aligning with things energetically instead of like um next month i'll do this next month do that it's like i want to do this i'm gonna align with it right now i'm gonna because you understand the essence of what manifestation is um and then when those things come up to purge, because there's something that needs to be cleared out when you align with it, it's like, oh yeah, this is coming up to purge. It makes sense. Let me clear that. You know, when you, you know, when you have like big activations in your heart space and what follows after it is maybe fear of love or fear of opening the heart, because while you've activated that energy and it's opening up, those fears can't be here anymore. Those fears and this person's going to hurt me or whatever. They can't be here anymore. They need to be acknowledged to be purged through. So a lot of the times when we have an expansion somewhere or we align with something, what's holding us back has to come through. I want to make, you know, a lot of money and have a good relationship with money. A lot of the times when that happens, our money drops. And we have to understand our relationship with money and where we're at to be able to align with that. So that's something that I see has happened for you guys, whatever it was you were aligning with. The back of the deck we have cracked open. See, oh my God. Literally cracked open, rock bottom, surrendered to the alchemy of life. So you may have felt like everything was going good and then you like hit rock bottom, but it purged you to bring you back where you were. And now you, you may even be feeling like the spring energy is back in your life because it's like you you pop back up this feels like dark night of the soul energy because with cracked open like you literally like removed anything that was stopping you from aligning with what you wanted this feels like big ego death energy awakening ascension energy going on a healing journey you may not have even set out to do that you may have set out to just align with the timeline and the universe was like yeah okay but we're gonna have to go through a bit of an alchemization of the ego we're gonna have to really purge we're gonna have to really go through a dark night of the soul we're gonna have to um really flip life upside down to do this do you want to do this and maybe on a soul level you were like yeah or physically you were like yeah but didn't know that that was gonna happen and then felt like oh my god it all everything went upside down and it went wrong no it was filtering out so that you could have what you wanted and now you're back where you were with that wisdom and energy it's funny how that works pile number three messages from lemuria please for guys messages from lemuria for my pile number three messages from lemuria we have i'm gonna have to be careful with this card and cover it up but it says oh my god it says journey to wholeness and then she has all the colors here journey to wholeness 
and then we literally have cracked open at the back of the deck here like cracked open journey to wholeness anything that was stopping you from being the best version of yourself was purged out and that was that little journey that you were on to become whole again to fill in those um cracks where you felt like you were constantly falling behind or falling back or tripping all that it was like no we're, we're clearing them out so we can be whole and align with what this is that we want we then have vulnerability at the back of the deck and look at the dragon here whenever i think of dragons or snakes or anything like that i think of them like shedding their skin so i feel like that's what you've been doing shedding skin but with vulnerability i, I just really feel i didn't realize it wasn't in the camera then with vulnerability i just really feel like it took an enormous amount of vulnerability and surrendering for you guys to really grow and evolve through this because we have the flowers blooming we have the dragonfly which connects us to our ancestors and spirit guides i feel like it took a lot of vulnerability to really own up to your own responsibility for like change and evolving we have to take a lot of accountability when we choose to heal and we choose to look at our own wounds and i feel like that's what you've been doing so i'm super proud of you pal three because you've really been um anything that's come up i feel like you faced it dead on which is beautiful um to get you here because now it's like right we're back now we're coming back onto this timeline now now we can go and it wouldn't shock me pal three if life starts to speed up now and manifestations just start to drop in because i see it happening now anything that was in your way was brought up for you to face and purge and now it's time to align like it's not even it's time to align you've been aligning it's now time to kind of enjoy the fruits you're gonna see them blooming pretty soon if you haven't already i feel some of you have seen those fruits bloom already but i think this just needed to be explained because there's a time period you may be thinking about and it's because time doesn't exist so energetically you're back there with the wisdom and it's like right let's go because that purge whatever it was it may have felt awful but i feel like it was an answered prayer and a lot of you were, but I feel like the majority, I feel like all of you are probably looking at it like that was an answered prayer. Because now I'm whole, or I feel whole, I feel more connected. Love that for you guys. So part three, that is what I have for you. That was beautiful. I love that. Um, and that was really interesting as well. So part number three, that's what I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. Let me know down below as well, like time periods, if you're comfortable with that, obviously. Um, of what time periods you've been connecting to. And if it was 2019, because it felt like an influx of 2019, but it could be anything for you guys. But let me know what that was about. Um, remember part two, Messages from Agatha is going to be over on Colleen's channel, Spiritualistic. So uh i have the link over there to part two in the description box so you can head over there thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching